As we all know, Koenigsegg once made a hypercar with a small engine capacity, three cylinders and the power output could reach crazy numbers. But, what's even more impressive is that now they are having fun making electric motors with extraordinary output power, which in the claim can reach 330 HP. And you know what could make this crazier? That is, the diameter is smaller than the diameter of the unpeeled coconut, and the thickness is just around 6 centimeters. More than that, this electric motor will later be paired to become two electric motors in a car, and controlled through one inverter. This pair of electric motors can generate up to 660 horsepower with a weight under than 85 kilograms. And this is only two units. What will happen if a new battery technology is found later which allows the use of four electric motors simultaneously? And, what distinguishes this electric motor from Koenigsegg from other electric motors? The electric motor system from Koenigsegg is also known as the Quarky motor. What makes this e-motor unique is the combination of two different kinds of electric motors, and Koenigsegg named it the Quarky motor. This technology is called Raxial Flux, a combination of radial and axial flux. Axial and radial flux is a type of electric motor with a different working direction or axis. We can see the position between the coils, magnets, and other parts, where of course, both have advantages and disadvantages. In radial flux itself, we most often encounter characters with high power. Meanwhile, axial flux has good torque. Now what makes the quarky motor so cool is here. As we said earlier, the two types were combined to become raxial flux, and Koenigsegg himself calls it a classification that makes people dizzy hearing it torque to power to RPM to weight matrix. With this classification, Koenigsegg wants to show us that this electric motor was remarkable in terms of weight efficiency and power. For example, this one electric motor only weighs around 30 kilograms, up to 15 kilograms lighter than Tesla's electric motor. And do you know how Koenigsegg can get this lightweight? Yeah, with an out-of-the-box step that I didn't think about, namely replacing some of the internal parts in the electric motor's rotor with carbon fiber material. For example, in the shaft section and several other points. This is a simple step, but it is truly genius. So it's natural that the Raxial Flux electric motor is light. Even more than light, this electric motorbike also has small in size, to the extent that Koenigsegg dares to compare its e-quark with canned drinks. Okay, now we're back to the performance side. For the performance itself, each quarky motor unit weighs 30 kilograms. It can produce a power output up to 330 bhp and can reach up to 600 newton meters of torque. It's really a very beautiful achievement for us to hear. But what if we compare it to Tesla's EV motor? As a comparison, we can take the Tesla Model S Plaid, which uses a 4 EV motors, where the car can produce a power output of up to 1020 horsepower with a torque of 1227 newton meters. And let's compare it with the quarky motor. It has a difference in power of up to 300 horsepower more incredible, and a torque of up to 1173 newton meters more excellent. Note, this by ignoring the conditions, we ignore power consumption. But, in our opinion, it is very likely that Quarky Motor still has less power consumption, which is sure to compete with EV motors from other manufacturers. Okay, that's all the information about this Quarky Motor, because the information is still limited. But, it is clear that Koenigsegg is still developing it, and will most likely market it to other companies. It is may also possible for land or sea transportation, given that we calculate its efficiency, we consider it very tempting. More than that, Koenigsegg has also made a more advanced version by creating the Terra series, which combines two quarky motors simultaneously to produce the same power with a lighter weight. So, let's wait until this technology can be applied to mass-produced vehicles. As usual, if there are questions and suggestions, don't hesitate to use the comments column to discuss. I'm Carrier. See you in the next episode.